How are you everyone? My name is Mr. J.M. Kimani, uh, your lecturer in management accounting. Welcome to the topic, cost bookkeeping. Now, in this topic, we are going to look at the set of accounts as maintained in the uh, costing books and also in financial books. There are two systems. The system called the non-integrated accounts, which is interlocking, and we have the integrated accounts, um, which we are going to look at how to maintain this set of books. Now, uh, cost bookkeeping uh, refers to the system of recording various cost information in the books of accounts. There are two systems of cost bookkeeping, namely, one, non-integrated accounts, that is, interlocking, and number two, integrated accounts. So these are two. So you have the interlocking accounting system and you have integrated accounting system. These are the two uh, sets of uh, systems that we use in um, capturing the cost data or data uh, that is going to be used by the company. Now, interlocking accounting system is an accounting system where separate cost accounting and financial accounting books are maintained although both use the same basic accounting data so we say that the interlocking one is where we use same data but we present this in different ways so depending with the with the information required by the cost accountants and the information required by the financial accountants. So we pre prepare two sets, but using the same basic data. Then integrated accounting system is a system of accounting where the cost and financial accounts are kept in the same set of books. This system avoids the need, to se the need for separate set of books for financial and costing purposes. That's true. We say that um, the integrated one is where we bring together the accounting and the cost uh, costing uh, and we prepare one set of books that uh, we do not need to maintain uh, two different sets for the accountants and for the cost accountants. We would expect uh, to prepare one set and at the end, we'll be having them in agreement and there's no need of reconciliation. But when it comes to the, the interlocking accounting, because we are maintaining different sets of books, then at the, the end product may differ. You may have used the same basic data, but the way of doing things and the system of preparing and maintaining this, if they differ, at the end, we may have the, uh, some differences, which uh, necessitate for and call for the... Uh, reconciliation. So we do reconciliation under interlocking, but not under integrated accounting uh, system. Now, starting with the interlocking uh, account, so this is interlocking accounts, so interlocking accounting system. We can have like you have said, that uh, is a system where we maintain two sets of books, one for cost accounting and one for uh, the financial accounting. We need to actually understand how the flow of uh, information uh, goes with um, the, 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 the interlocking. Uh, this, under this system, Separate cost accounting and financial accounting books are maintained, although both use the same uh, basic accounting data. The financial accounting books have the normal and credit entries, 
within themselves. In addition, a memorandum account, also known as cost ledger control account, is maintained and all the items to be transferred to the cost accounts are posted in this account. Cost accounting books, on the other hand, contain impersonal accounts necessary for a cost costing purposes. In addition to the financial ledger control account, also known as cost ledger control. Accounts which enable the financial and cost ledger to be interlocked. The interlocking cost accounting system, costing and financial profits differ and have therefore to be reconciled at the end of the financial year. Now we are saying that um, uh, we normally maintain what we call a cost ledger and especially what we call the general uh, ledger. So that now the general ledger is going to capture every item that flows to their respective uh, ledger accounts. We have several ledger accounts like uh, the stores ledger, the wages uh, ledger, overheads ledgers, all these, the work in progress, the finished goods, all those. But uh, anything that goes to those ledgers must flow from uh, the general ledger. That is how we prepare as far as the uh, costing books are concerned. Now, I would want uh, to show you a diagram that uh, shows the flow of uh, cost and information. So this is a flow of cost information. So this is, of course, in the interlocking uh, account. So they have... Um, uh, we have it here. This is general ledger control. Then we have uh, uh, we have three accounts. We have the stores ledger control we have what we call the wages ledger control and we have uh, the overheads Overheads, ledger control. Mm -hmm. Then here we have uh, the work in progress, ledger control. Then we have uh, the finished goods ledger control mm -hmm. then from there we have uh, the costs of Sales ledger control. We also have uh, the P and L so the cost P profit and loss ledger control we also have uh, the sales let me put the sales here sales ledger Control. 
So this is a diagram that we are going to use to understand the flow of this um, interlocking accounting system. Now, uh, starting showing the, the, the flow, uh, let me use a different color. So we do have from the general ledger, we can have uh, to the stores, to the wages, and also we can have it to the overheads. That means these are costs. These are cost uh, ledger accounts and therefore they have a debit balance, a debit balance. So we are going to be debiting these specific accounts as we credit the general ledger. So we can have the double entries here. Uh, one is that we are going to debit uh, the uh, stores ledger control account we debit the wages ledger control account we also debit the overheads ledger control account then we can now credit the general ledger control account so i have just indicated as if it's just one entry but it's not one entry so each and every so we debit the stores ledger we credit the general ledger we debit the wages ledger we credit the general ledger we debit the overheads ledger we credit the general ledger that is the first uh, entry we can have then from there before we transfer the amounts uh, to the uh, production uh, production cost or production account, which we call it as work in progress, materials, labor, and overheads. We may have a case where the stores ledger or the materials, some may be the direct materials, some may be indirect materials. If we have direct materials, then the direct materials, they just proceed to the work in progress. This is now the direct materials. But if we do have indirect materials, then uh, we transfer them. We transfer these materials uh, to the overheads. This is now indirect materials. This is indirect materials. that we transfer to the overheads. This is indirect materials. So indirect materials actually are overheads and therefore we transfer them to the overheads. Same case to the wages. If we have direct labor or wages, this w, uh, DW, direct wages, that one goes to the uh, work in the progress account. And if we do have the indirect then this is indirect wages. So that one goes to the overheads. So under that we can say that the next double entry, number two, is that if, if, if it's about uh, the store's ledger, uh, for direct we can have uh, debit, the work in progress uh, ledger, control, account. This is uh, direct materials. We debit the overheads. Ledger control account. This is with indirect materials.